Good afternoon. We're opening up a box, basically a time capsule of bicycle parts from the early 1980s. Uh, this is take two. I'm going to start all over. Everything is out of the box. This will go a little faster this time. We're going to start with Klein literature. We have a Klein order form from the early 1980s, complete with prices. We have a letter from Gary Klein thanking you for your interest. We have three copies of a Klein brochure and we have a Klein catalog with about 20 pages and photos. I'm sure somebody in the internet would be interested in scanning that. A couple of cables. We have two Cycle Pro brand chain whips still in the package. We have uh, Dura-Ace seat post instructions. We have a roll of uh, Velox rim tape, petrified. Here's something interesting, an original Atom freewheel remover, the original Atom spline freewheel tool. Here's a Zephyl pump clip still in the package. Now of local interest, we have a plaque from Merchants National Bank, uh, great bike races. These were held in Cedar Rapids for many years. Uh, they were discontinued about 1988 or so. Uh, they would get thousands upon thousands of local participants. They had, uh, they would run like 10 heats of four-year-old girls on a on a basketball court. Uh, the main race course was one lap through Beaver Park, which had a very substantial hill and a wicked descent. Uh, we got some miscellaneous hardware. We have a brand new, never used Sun Tour six speed freewheel 1324. Very nice. Um, we have a box for a heart speedometer. It's the box only. The box is empty. Uh, this is a speedometer, pulse meter, sold originally for, come on, focus, $120, I think. $119, yeah. Uh, here we have a Dura Ace front derailleur box with instructions. The original uh, credit card receipt back in the day when you actually got a paper imprinted receipt. Uh, Doug Beach, Cycle Smithy in Chicago, uh, $43 for a new Dura Ace front derailleur. And in the box was this gem. This is a Dura Ace AX derailleur. Uh, has very little wear on it. I'm guessing this is what came on the bike. It was replaced with a standard Dura Ace derailleur. Uh, AX was Shimano's first attempt at aerodynamic parts. Uh, here we have a Wonder Light minus the bracket. Another British headlight. Uh, this one takes two D cells. Here we have a light that's uh, basically a trouble light for working on cars. Plugs into the cigarette lighter. We have three rolls of black cat eye adhesive backed cotton handlebar tape. Nice stuff. We have a couple inner tubes. Here's a Cycle Pro 700 by 25. Here's a brand I'd never seen before. Sup Air Latex 2 uh, French made inner tube in a plastic sealed wrap. Uh, we have an Avocet 30 computer still in the package. It's a white model. Uh, we have a few gears. Uh, threaded on gears here. These are probably from the early Shimano Hyperglide, the, Hyperglide, the first generation. Uh, the gears were actually held on by threaded cogs rather than a separate lock ring. Uh, we have a can of number 300 synthetic lubricant, uh, empty. We have a Sella Italia turbo saddle. I know there's some people that still love these saddles today. Uh, Bunardi No Signature Edition. We have a pair of toe straps. Uh, these are Lapis brand. Uh, they're kind of a plasticized, plasticized uh, toe strap. Probably original equipment on the bike. Um, we have a pair of Binda Alfredo Binda Extra leather toe straps. These are a three-layer laminated toe strap. Uh, you can see the lettering is good on one and a bit worn on the other. Uh, never used. Just taken out of the package so you can view it. Uh, we have the original Cat Eye solar powered bike computer. Uh, if you look at the top, those little panels are solar panels. Uh, this computer was amazingly accurate. You could program in any wheel size down to a 
one millimeter diameter. Uh, it was actually used by some guys for doing professional surveying. Uh, the main problem with it is the battery. It took a silver oxide rechargeable battery which is no longer available. So the solar panel won't work, although you could put a computer in there, or a battery in, to run it as a regular computer. Uh, we have a rear view mirror, manufactured in Waterloo by Wayne Eisel. Uh, we do have a Vista Light package for a Vista Light headlight system. However, all that's in here is the battery pack and the charger. The light itself is not here. Uh, so there you have it, uh, 1980, early 1980s time capsule. Uh, I think some of this will go on eBay. I may just put the entire lot on eBay as a time capsule. So thanks for watching. Bye.